In this tutorial, you'll learn how to navigate and look around. Then you'll make your first takeoff and landing. On screen right now, you can see the kneeboard. All of the instructions in this tutorial are recorded on the Messages page. The Briefing page displays the mission briefing. To close the kneeboard, click the X in the upper right corner. To open it again, press Shift F10. You're sitting in an Air Creation Trike Ultralight at the end of Runway 15 at Edwards Air Force Base in California. This is one of the longest runways in the world, the same runway the Space Shuttle sometimes lands on. In missions, you can navigate using the Mission Compass and the Mission Pointer. See the gauge in the upper left corner of the screen? That's the Mission Compass. The little triangle on the outside of the rotating heading indicator points to the selected objective or item of interest. The text below the indicator tells you the name of the objective, its altitude above sea level, as well as your distance from it. See the big marker in front of you? That's the mission pointer. It points to objectives or items of interest. In some missions, there will be more than one objective or item of interest. You can change which item the mission compass and pointer point to by pressing the K key. You can hide the mission compass and pointer by pressing the U key. To look around, move the hat switch on top of your joystick, or press and hold the space bar, then move the mouse to look around. Feel free to experiment by looking around your aircraft now. You can also try different views by pressing the F9, F10, F11, and F12 keys. When you're done experimenting with views, press 1 to progress to the next phase of this tutorial. You can control an aircraft in flight simulator by using a joystick, a universal controller, the mouse, or the arrow keys on the keyboard. Time to go flying. You're going to start the engine, release the brakes, take off, fly through some gates, and then land again. First, move the throttle to idle. If you don't have a joystick or a universal controller, press the F1 key. Next, start the ultralight's engine. Press Control e or click the ignition switch on the instrument panel. You can control the throttle using the throttle lever on a joystick, by pressing buttons on a universal controller, or by pressing the F1, F2, F3, and F4 keys on the keyboard. The instructions in this tutorial are generalized to apply to any of these methods. Now, release the parking brake. Pull the trigger button on your joystick, or press the period key. Ready for takeoff? Smoothly advance the throttle to full. If you don't have a joystick, press the F4 key. Taking off is easy. At about 30 miles per hour, gently pull the stick towards you and the aircraft will fly off the runway. Pull back on the stick a bit. Congratulations, you're flying. Pull back gently on the stick and climb a bit to fly through the first gate you see in front of you. Great! Now climb a bit more and fly through the second gate. Now reduce the throttle a bit and slow down. The next gate is a little lower than the last one, and you'll be landing once you get through it. Good 
job. Now reduce the throttle all the way and use the stick to adjust your descent rate. Pull back slightly on the stick and level out. Try to float over the runway as long as possible. Now brake. Pull the trigger on your joystick or press the period key. Come to a complete stop. Nice landing. Press escape to end the mission or take off again to explore on your own. In this short tutorial, you'll practice flying an ultralight aircraft through a marked course. Just as in tutorial one, the instructions are generalized to apply whether you're flying with a joystick, a universal controller, the mouse, or the keyboard. For details about using different types of controllers, refer to the quick reference card or to the briefing for this mission. Directly ahead of you is a series of large square gates to fly through. To get to the first gate, just climb gently pull back on the stick to raise the nose of the ultralight. To go faster as you climb, increase the throttle. Push the throttle lever forward or press the F3 key. Active gates that you need to fly through are glowing green. Gates that aren't active or that you have already flown through are red. The next gate will not highlight until you have passed through the current gate. If you lose sight of a gate, look around. Move the hat switch on top of your joystick or press and hold the spacebar and move the mouse. Remember, you can review all the instructions given to you on the kneeboard. Just press Shift F10 and select the Messages page. Another tip, press the P key to pause the mission. Press it again to resume. Good job negotiating gate one. Now fly through gate two. Okay, now descend to gate three. Push forward on the stick a bit to gently lower the nose. Slow down during the descent by reducing the power. Pull back on the throttle lever or press the F2 key. Nice descent to gate three, now level off. Gently pull back on the stick. Notice that as you level off, the ultralight slows down. Set your speed by adjusting the throttle. Gate four is next. To turn toward it, gently move the stick to bank the wings in that direction. Then center the stick. To stop turning, move the stick back to the right and roll the wings level. Great job with gate four. Now turn to line up with gate five.
Congratulations, your first attempt at flying was a success. You can end the tutorial now or keep flying. Press the escape key at any time to end the mission. The remaining gates are just for fun. Try flying through them in any order you want. As you fly, remember, in general, if you keep the nose on the horizon, you'll maintain altitude. If the nose is pointed up, you'll climb. If it's pointed down, you'll descend. In this tutorial, you'll take off, fly to three different hot air balloons, and return to land at this airport. To start the engine, press Control e or click the ignition switch on the instrument panel. Pull the trigger button on the joystick to release the parking brake, or press the period key. Push the throttle lever away from you or press the F4 key to accelerate. Now pull back on the stick to lift off. In order to find the hot air balloons, use the mission compass and the mission pointer. Press the K key to move the pointer between the three hot air balloons. You only need to fly near the balloons to achieve the mission objectives. Feel free to approach them from any angle. That's one balloon, two more to go.
That's the second balloon. One left. Try moving the stick more gently. flown near all the balloons. Congratulations. Now it's time to turn back and land at the airport. Since the wind is calm, you can approach the airport from any direction. The mission compass and mission pointer have moved to show you where the airport is. This airport has two small grass strips and one long concrete runway. For an extra challenge, feel free to land on one of the grass strips. Grass strips can be hard to see. In this tutorial, the grass strips are highlighted in yellow to help you find them. You can also cycle the mission compass and mission pointer between them using the K key. Now that you're heading toward the airport, reduce power to slow to 60 miles per hour or less. Before you land, make sure your throttle is at idle. Just before you touch down, ease the stick back slightly and let the aircraft settle to the ground. You're going a bit too fast to have a safe landing. Reduce your speed to 50 miles per hour or less. Great landing. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to move an airplane on the ground, or taxi. Taxiing is important, since you'll have to get from your parking spot to the runway in order to take off and back after you land. You'll be practicing your taxiing skills in several aircraft, but we'll start with the familiar trike ultralight. You're starting in spot plane view in this tutorial, so it's easy to see where your aircraft is. 
Use your joystick's hat switch or the mouse to look around your plane. To begin taxiing, start the engine and nudge the throttle up just a little to start moving. Use the throttle and brakes to control your speed. You don't want to taxi much faster than 5 miles per hour. To turn while taxiing, twist your joystick or press 0 or enter on your keyboard's number pad. Slow down. Going too fast while taxiing can be dangerous. Good job. You can save a mission in progress at any time by pressing the semicolon key. Saving is useful if you don't have time to complete an entire mission or if you've just made it through a difficult part. That way you don't have to refly the whole mission if you make a mistake. In this tutorial, you might want to save the mission each time you switch to a new airplane. You've drifted outside the cones. Try to keep on the path. Up ahead is the Piper J3 Cub. Move close to it and we'll switch you into that aircraft for a bigger challenge. Great, you're now in a Piper Cub. The Cub is a bit more difficult to handle than the Ultralight, but not much. Great job taxiing. Up ahead is a Douglas DC-3. Move close to it so you can get some experience taxiing in a big plane. All right, you're now in a Douglas DC-3. Your goal is to taxi to the beginning of the runway and take off. The DC-3 is a more difficult plane to taxi. Unlike the ultralight of the Cub, this plane relies a lot more on using the brakes to help you swing the tail around. try to stay on the concrete. The DC-3 has a tailwheel lock, which makes it easier to taxi. With the lock off, like it is right now, the tail can swing freely during turns. With the lock on, it's easier to taxi straight ahead. Press Shift-G to lock or unlock the tailwheel. Remember, your goal is to take off once you're on the runway. Taking off in the DC-3 is easy. Just line up with the runway and push the throttle forward all the way. Pull back on the stick when you're going about 60 miles per hour. back now to take off. Congratulations, you're in the air flying the DC-3. Feel free to keep flying or press escape to end the mission.